Um, Jack, let me show you the Deputy Premier of Queensland, Stephen Miles, who sounded on the weekend like he was calling the Prime Minister the C word before claiming, oh, he meant to say contrast instead. The Labor crowd, though, loved it. Listen. Scott Morrison's in town. He's holding $5,000 a seat fundraisers. So think about that, will you? Aldo's here with us at Labor Day, while Scott Morrison's charging 5000 bucks a head to have dinner with him. What a c contrast. Don't we need a contrast? Now, Jack, uh, as I said, Miles claimed he just stuttered while trying to say contrast. Don't say the crowd believed it. But here's the thing. The ABC accepted what seemed to me a complete porky and claimed as fact that Miles had just had a slip up, a faux pas, a slip of the tongue. Is this reporting or is this spinning, covering up? Yeah, I mean, the first point I'll make is, gee, didn't that crowd seem like a bunch of lovely blokes when you want to hang out with um, <laughs> with, with those people? They don't seem rambling and mm. crazed at all um, <laughs> by any stretch. Yeah, no, the, the, the article was very strange, uh, the way it was written. I mean, look, they also said that the crowd erupted as if it's some kind of volcanic eruption or something. And they almost seemed to mm. kind of to, to write like a colour piece around it and then taking his explanation as fact. Can you imagine if Scott Morrison had uh, committed such a gaffe, uh, how they would cover it? Uh, do, do we really think that anybody would say, would see the ABC going, well, he says that it was a slip of the tongue and then write a kind of no, tongue-in-cheek. slip of the tongue, as they're, fact. They're doing his PR. No. That's not the function of the national broadcaster is to do Labor's PR and to, and to write about their crowd in a celebratory manner. <laughs> it's it's so strange. The crowd erupted as if, as if they're well, writing about uh, a music. Festival. <laughs> I know. Well, a, comp a compassionate left-wing crowd loves it when you call a conservative a c-word. Well, there you go. A How rabble, a rabble of thugs. That's that's all it was. It was a it rabble of thugs, and it was written up as if they were all a bunch of nice blokes just having a having a jolly good old time. <laughs> Jack, I'm running short of time, but I want to show you this. Chris Lilly, brilliant mimic, very popular with the ABC crowd until woke politics came and Netflix banned four of his shows. By where the white lily played a Tongan, Jonah, and when he uh, played a, uh, an African-American rapper and where he played an Asian mother and where he played for maximum offence points to the woke, a Chinese student who actually played an Aboriginal boy. Now, Lily didn't fight back at the time. He's now quietly re-emerged with a weekly podcast called Jamazing, where he plays a private schoolgirl who in episode two a couple of weeks ago gives an apology to stop being cancelled. Listen. My lecturer at uni, she like pulls me aside and she's like, I've heard the first app of your podcast. It's pretty offensive. And I'm like, um, I'm just telling her like it is. It's like offensive to me that you're offended. And I go, like, am I going to fail the assignment? And she's like, and maybe like do an apology to like for all the offensive stuff that I would have said. And so here's a list of everything I'm really sorry for saying. I, Jamea Louise King, want to sincerely apologise for last week's podcast episode, in particular to lesbians, people who've had malaria, Linfield, my future son, Koreans, my fat Hilford friends, black and white celebos, Huntsman's, Gampy, the gay guy at work who called me lazy, mum's guinea pigs, dancing skeletons. <laughs> That's it, there you go. I know I'm problematic, but it is what it is. Jack Horton, how's that show going? Oh, well, it's sensational. And, I mean, Netflix's loss. Chris Lilly is a comedian and it's comedy and it shouldn't be too controversial to, to, to be able to separate those two. It's not some kind of political statement. And all I would say to people is uh, all of the content, it's up on YouTube. Go support Chris Lilly. Go support it all. It's, it's, it's a good podcast. It's very funny. Absolutely. I think it's a talent. Jack Horton, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me.